This is our league, and this is your league. From the 55-yard line on CFL America Radio and the Sports History Network. questionable for you to come back and play in the playoffs that's a big concern Mike O'Reilly the question is will he be able to do it on that bad foot I can't tell you what the stats are going to be I don't care um, I can't tell you if it's going to look pretty or if it's going to look super ugly I don't care I can tell you that uh, when we walk off that field there's going to be nothing left to give drove me through the whole offseason. I knew that we fell short. I knew that there was a lot of work to be done to get over that hump to make 2015 more successful. Training camp started then once we started running around, going, okay, I'm back, I'm ready to go, I'm ready to play. There he is, Edmonton Eskimos quarterback Mike Riley whose season was derailed late in the playoffs because of a foot injury, but healthy and ready to go again. Riley to throw, and it gets through to Pullman. Is that Mike Riley down and hurt? Yes, he is. It is. fold I was like this is the worst I can't breathe and I can't move my leg and I just hope I hope it's not gonna end my season and that does not look good this is about the worst possible sight we could get out of week one there was a hole in my stomach and anytime Mike Riley doesn't stay in the football game there's got to be something wrong he's the leader of our football team and you have all these dreams of grandeur, and uh, when you see that, you know, your starter goes down, it doesn't uh, set too well. A torn PCL in his knee forces Riley out of the lineup indefinitely. Quarterbacks don't win or lose games. Neither do wide receivers, neither do linebackers, DBs, or over D-line. Your team wins, your team loses. Just because your quarterback's out doesn't mean you can't win games. I told him straight up, we're going to win the Grey Cup this year. But the only way we're doing that is if we keep pace. The thing that I wanted them to do is to, uh, you know, have a never say die attitude regardless of who you got on the field. If you let something like that affect you, now, you know, you've not only lost a player, but you've let a player's injury affect the whole team. To lose Mike, that really tested us as a group on what we were made of. It's picked off, and it's a pick six. In came that ferocious. 
vicious rush. Defense imposing its will now. When you got that many athletes that's hungry, a bunch of savages that play the game fast, physical, and together, I mean, sky's the limit. He gets pummeled by Odell Willis. J.C. Sherrod lowers the boom. We don't play to be the sack leader, the interception leader, the tackles leader. We play to be the number one defense in the CFL. With a historically dominant defense, the Eskimos regain their stride and find a new weapon on offense. Touchdown, Darrell Walker! Wow! I was happy that I could actually help this team out and be productive. I just want to contribute somehow. Walker starts his career with the best three-game receiving stretch in CFL history. And the Eskimos go 6-4 and four to remain in the hunt. Just in time for their leader to return. I've never played scared on the football field. I never will. But I remember going into that game wondering if I was still going to be that same player, wondering if that knee was going to be in the back of my mind or if it was going to change the way that I played or, you know, if, if I finally was going to become a guy that played with a little bit of fear. The Edmonton Eskimos get their quarterback. Mike Riley makes his first start since week one. And I remember getting up and going, well, I'm still going to play the way I'm going to play and nothing's going to change it. Mike Riley hangs in, goes end zone. Adarius Bowman has the touchdown. Riley has time. He's going deep. He's got his man. He's got a touchdown. Now the pump fake and lets it fly. It's Adarius. It's a touchdown. Welcome back, Mike Riley. Welcome back. His style of play, it's contagious. The win over Calgary snaps a 12-game losing streak against their provincial rival. And with Riley back in full form, the Eskimos reel off win after win after win. We was telling each other the time is now. We can play with anybody. The Eskimos go 8-0 in Riley's return to clinch first place in the West setting up a Western final rematch with the Calgary Stampeders. I don't think we would want it any other way. Why would it be anybody else? Last year, they took it to us. They're coming to our place this year. <laughs> we think we're the best team in the league. It is the CFL Western Final. The Eskimos and Stampeders, a trip to the Grey Cup in Winnipeg next week is on the line. Offense, make sure we handle the ball. Defense, take the ball away. Most of all, go out and have fun playing this football. Let's go. Hey, we're going for 
two. Riley into the end zone. Walker's got it. And a quick 8 nothing lead for the Edmonton Eskimos. Hey, hold on. Move him now. Move him. Hey, work up and don't stop your feet. Just go get him. Mitchell into the end zone. Open man. And incomplete. Anthony Parker can't hang on. John Ojo recovered just in the nick of time. Holy by Mitchell and the Stampeders need to close the gap. Lots of time for Mitchell and pass is caught. Joe West brings it down. Now they're marking it down on the three yard line. That will pat it down, knocked down. Dion Lacey. Here comes the safety blitz. Riley gets it away. Bowman, touchdown. What a big drive. Late first half for Edmonton. Biggest lead at the West Final. We had built that momentum in the first half, and we needed to come out and start the second half the same way. to the left side, throws, and it's complete to Kenny Stafford across the Calgary 35-yard line. Mike Riley just made chicken salad out of chicken feathers. Riley takes the snap, throws, and it's a complete again. Big hole for Stafford, touchdown, Eskimos! Eskimos taking charge on the opening drive of the second half. Into Messam's hands. That's not going anywhere. Ball came loose. That ball is out. And it is recovered immediately by Dion Lacey. It's going to be our ball. We do it. It's all right. It's going to be our ball. We're going to score it. Riley drops back. Looks, looks, dances, and throws. And he's going deep down the field. Oh, what a catch by Darrell Walker, who skips his way to the end zone.
was finally a total relief. You know, we did it. We're going to the Grey Cup. This is the stuff you dream about. I hope y'all getting your, your cars packed, flights, whatever you got to do. Bring the kids, bring the dogs, bring everybody because, uh, hey, the SMO is going to be in Winnipeg. We're going there for business. None of this stuff that we've done all year means anything if we don't win the next game. The Grey Cup. It's the geographical center of the country. Today, this is the focal point of the nation. It's the Ottawa Red Blacks colliding with the Edmonton Eskimos in the 103rd Great Cup. Let's go. Come on, let's go. Well, show them how we do this. Let's go. We're doing this way too long. It's what you live for. We coming. We coming! We come out here and we beat their ass from the first play to the last and every play in between. Grant Shaw kicks it off. Great Cup 103 underway. Burris throws, it's complete. Burris on a roll, Chris Williams, first and goal. Burris dumps it off, Patrick LeBois, touchdown. Great f***ing drive. You're luck f***ing, you're going to dominate this f***ing game, just keep the f***ing going. Yes, sir. So Milo to kick it off, Kendall Lawrence with the return. Did that ball pop loose? Ball! Ball! Looks like Ottawa may be on it. It's red black football. What the f***? God damn it. And right back to work goes Burris and the red blacks. Over the middle. Touchdown. Stunning start. 13 nothing before the Eskimos offense hit the field. Let's go. All right, boys, let's get an answer. Let's get an answer. First down, Riley to throw. Looking for Darius Bowman. Touchdown. On the money to his favorite target. What? Whoa. Let's go. Game on in the 103rd Grey Cup. Eskimos looking for the halftime lead. Riley throws open man in zone. Touchdown. Akeem Shavers. Fellas, we spotted him a quick 13, all right? It shouldn't be close oh, right boy. now. We'll come back in that second half to dominate this, all right? Let's go. Second half underway. Ottawa begins at their own nine-yard line. Burris steps up. He's going to air it out. Come on, Grimesy. Incomplete. Aaron drives in coverage, and a flag flies. Damn it, Grimesy. Come on. God damn. Every time we get him pinned, we let him off the hook. This is from 33. Hits it. Red Blacks back in the lead. Oh, oh, right, Mike? Yeah, my ribs a little. Right, uh, you got me right on the ribs. Still a one point game as we head to the fourth quarter. Big pressure on. 
Falls incomplete. Riley out of the pocket. Throws against the grain. Incomplete. Championship season on the line and time is running out. Hey, one. One. Drill. Be ready for me to put a hind behind. Go on a jump ball. All right. Riley's got some time. Downfield. Incomplete. Looked like he had Darrell Walker. There was contact down there, but I didn't know if it was enough contact for me to throw my flag. Hey, you may as well challenge that. Edmonton is challenging the previous play for defensive pass interference. The ball was a little unthrown, so I was trying to come back to it, and he just, you know, basically ran into me, hit my arm, so, you know, I knew it was going to be a P.I. After review, defensive pass interference, Ottawa. 37-yard penalty. Here we go. Are you hurry, Snook? In some trouble, gets away, throws end zone, and Kuhorn with the catch, and they'll mark it at the one. Looks like third and one, and no hesitation about going for it. We call the personnel heavy, and you know that's my personnel. I come in for that, and you know we knew it, we knew it'd be a sneak. Jordan Lynch comes in on third down. Let's go, baby, get in, get in. I haven't played an offensive snap all game, and come in there in the fourth quarter, and um, you know the biggest play of the game. You know it, it was nerve wracking. Jordan Lynch, he scored the biggest touchdown of the game. Victory formation. And they are the city of champions again. Edmonton Eskimos, 2015 Grey Cup champs. It was just a relief and just being overwhelmed with emotion. We want it and no one can ever take it away. All that hard work you put in, every second was worth it to be where you're at right now. Edmonton, city of champions once again, baby. <laughs> it's been a long road. It doesn't matter how strong of a person you are, there's times where you wonder, is it ever going to get better? Is it worth it? Is it, you know, why am I doing this? To battle through that and to have it pay off, it's the best feeling ever. We finally brought it back. It's been a long time coming, but it's, it's coming home now.